Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Today's um, 5D Academy is about allowing life to unfold and come to you. So as your awareness starts to expand and you're becoming more open and you start to realize that there is this happening is you simultaneously or slowly you begin to realize that okay there is something god consciousness the source i'm using the different words so let's not worry about the words that i'm using is operating and is running me is is operating me. And of course, each and every human being, or at least I would say, except a couple of saints that they were born, sages that didn't, weren't born with an ego, but the rest of them came with an ego. They have this sense of separation. So you are naturally based on your programming and the way you've been designed is you're referring back to yourself as if you are doing something it seems like that you are choosing something you're deciding on doing something now your consciousness is starting to expand and you're starting to awaken to ideas and also realizing that something much bigger than you is operating things so slowly slowly you're willing to let go of this notion that you're the one who's doing things you're the one who creates your own life you're the one who author your life because up to now Everything was indicating that you're behind the wheel. You're the one who calls the shot. shots. You're powerful. You, you're making your own choices. You're deciding where to go, what to do, what to eat, who to be with, blah, blah, blah. It looks like that. But now that you're starting to understand that there is a force, there is an entity, there is a living being, there's an intelligence or God behind everything. And maybe you had a couple near-death experiences or maybe a few times you got very close to the end or you had people who you loved, you lost them or things like that happen that there was nothing you can do about it and you kind of had to let go or force to do that, then you start trusting and recognizing that there is something much bigger and that thing is taking care of everything else. And in that, you start to kind of let go, allowing. Kind of like when things are not happening and the energy is not there, trying to make something happen, trying to make it happen, the energy is not there. And you're kind of like, you realize, okay, this is a time for me to just let go and kind of back off. You know, you pull back. And as soon as you pull back and you know you're you know like this trying to make it happen make it happen now you're just kind of pulling back and you're kicking back so what happens is immediately between you and something that you're really trying to make happen as you're just kind of letting go space opens up something opens up in between the two of you space opens up and then as space opens up 
And then all of a sudden, a lot of things become possible. All of a sudden in this letting go, in this allowing and trying to keep pushing, 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 in that allowing space expansion opens up because you're coming, you're coming out of this contraction, you know? This has to happen. It must happen. I got to do this. I have, to, I have to be in control of this. I need to be in control of my kids. I need to be in control of my partner. I need to be in control of everything. I need to know everything. I need to know what's going on in the world. I need to know, you know, that kind of a mentality that a lot of people have, that they need to know everything. They have to lock everything. All the doors need to be locked. All the windows need to be locked. When they're leaving home, they have to put all the curtains shut because they're worried that someone's going to break into their place. If they're going to go on a vacation, they need to know everything. Where am I going to stay? Where are we going to do? Where are we going to eat? They need to plan everything. Or they freak out. We call them control freak. Does it sound familiar to anybody what I'm saying? Yeah. So then in allowing means you don't have to necessarily know things. You don't have to know everything all the time. You're just operating from not knowing. Operating from a different place and allowing life to present itself, allowing life to give you some options. And I speak from direct personal experience that every once in a while I hit a wall. I get come to a place that it's not happening, whatever that is, whether it's my work, my teachings, maybe it's my relationship with someone or with my family. Maybe I relocated to another place. Maybe I started a new venture, whatever the story is. And you hit the wall and it's not happening. Or it's not going the way you were expecting it to go for whatever energy you put into it. And then you kind of like, if you recognize it, and if you're familiar with this, if you're expanding yourself, you also realize that there are times that you just kind of have to let go, kick back, just relax, just let's see what happens. And yeah, in some ways it is scary. In some ways it's confusing. I understand that. And in some ways you may enter into a gap, a period of time from your operation of what you're doing. And then all of a sudden you hit the wall and nothing is happening or nothing, you know, it's foggy. You don't know, you don't have the energy. You wake up in the morning, you don't feel like doing it. You feel depressed. You feel like, eh. But even that, I would say you allow yourself to go through that period. Allow yourself Energy is not there. You're not feeling motivated. And it looks like you're going to go through depression. And sometimes you have to go through it. Instead of forcing yourself to feel really good and to be high energy, 